I'm not trying to rat, and I'm not trying to scrap for kills. I'm saying pick our fights. Because we don't, you and I, we don't have a 13 kill wraith carrying us. We can't just push every fight and dominate every fight because one of us is a god tier accuracy person. Also, I got more than 100 kills on Maggie now. Woo! Like, they got 13 kills. I got four with five assists. Teammate got like three or something. Three or four. And all of that for less than a win with one KP. Where are we going? So yes, if you want to get 7 KP and 8th place every game, by all regards. But that's not going to get us the most KP. Or the most RP. Especially if we are trying to go for a diamond, which is difficult in its own regard. Okay, that just sucks. This right here is just unlucky. Yeah, I was trying to get through, but I just lost all momentum. All of my momentum was just lost as I turned that corner. This is just a wash. And they're just going to run, which sucks, but is the best play if you're trying to get RP. Good morning, and let's provide a little context for this video. As you can tell, this is going on to a little bit of a losing streak and not great streak going into this game specifically. And I was having a chat with my stream that there's a difference between playing it smart and picking your fights and ratting. Not everybody understands the difference. So I will be talking about that a good majority of the video. But the point of this video is just to show, like, even if you don't have a hyper carry on your team, or even if your team itself aren't the greatest of shooters slash maneuvers or whatever, that doesn't necessarily mean you are guaranteed to lose. If you play it smart, you pick your fights, and you take the time to isolate targets and then make it 3v2, then 3v1, you're able to beat out those odds, all climaxing at an epic final battle where I am barely breathing with how hard I'm focusing. <laughs> with that, I hope you enjoy the video. See you again at the end. Well, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm not saying let's get one kill, hide, rat, win. I'm saying if we get a good landing, say you and I get three kills or three KP at the start, awesome. Let's not push every fight from then on out. Let's start pushing fights at eight and seven. That way the KP we do get isn't lost. All that effort in kills and fights isn't just lost and all turned meaningless. If we're comparing ourselves to masters and predators that are able to push every fight, get max KP every single time, and win every single game, obviously that's going to be what we want in the end. But we're not there yet. We need to temper ourselves. What's another way to put this? Like trying to learn to drive a car. You don't max speed highway right away. If you hit a couple cars along the way, you don't just say, oops, well, I'm going to get there eventually. You don't bash your face against the wall to get better. Not in every situation. Again, I'm not disagreeing with you. It is a good idea to try and get fights and not rat. But 
You don't want to keep throwing yourself against every single wall. That way, you all of the KP you get means nothing. If we drop in and win every single fight but die to the next one for one reason or another, that's still negative KP. If we get back into another fight fast enough. We'll never make it to Diamond if you're only focused on winning a fight or two. Obviously, we want to win every fight, but like... I feel like you get the point I'm saying now. Yeah, and if we're getting no kills and it's 10 left, obviously we want to push fights. Coming. Come on. There's a better gun over here. And a max KP with. If you want to die, at least let me pull the trigger. My ultimate's ready to go. Love and a frag. On, on. Check it out. There we go. Yep, they're coming. They're gonna come down. What do we do at this? Where? I actually had the wrong gun out. There we go. I would like a different secondary weapon, please. There we go. Oof, there we go. 2kp. Who did I not? Oh, there was one person I didn't get a shot off on. Okay, we do need to move now. Go here. We've got aces. My ultimate's good to go. And moving. Human form there. Wipe them. Make them Come on. Recharging the shields, Kazi. They'd s steal this kill, swear to God. They stole that kill, I swear to God.
Well, because the enemy team got the last shot. Swear to God, an enemy team showed up and stole it. God damn it. Speed up the mountain. Healing. Adamite. Everything is carpite. I want to be full health when we go through this. Let's go. Oh, I can't ping to go to the right? God damn it. They also nerfed this thing. You're not invincible for a second or two when you come out of it. Which does suck. There's no safe way through this anymore. Excuse me. All right. It squads 2kp plus 6. Now we either wait or look for another fight. Nope. Oh, this way. Fight it is. Wonderful. Wonderful, now we're getting third parted. Still in ring. I'm not saying we run, we just back up for a moment. Healer, give me a sec. Because it sucks, but there were two teams around us, so I don't want to stick there while they're just sitting there. Imagine I hit somebody there. That would have been nuts. On. Of course she of course they pulled a battery off. Why am I dying? There's two of us there. What the fuck is this person with a bow? Give me your shit.
There we go. Oh, dual shell. Awesome. That Pathfinder with the bow and arrow was fucking cracked. Holy hell. And we're still top eight. All this fighting and still nothing gamed of it out of those two kills. Yeah, but we're still fighting. And this hasn't gotten us anything extra yet. but we're still top six because we just wiped one squad there we go <sighs> See, at this point we shouldn't be pushing fights just because it doesn't make sense to we've got good RP AP Whoa! <laughs> Just enough damage. Oof. That's so sad. Was able to do just enough damage to allow that to happen. They probably thought they could survive it, but I shot them just as they crossed the fence. They don't know where scared the hell out of me. Yeah, like at this point, there's really no reason to fight. But I'm going to stick with my team, and if they want to... See, they get it. I mean, at this point, no shot anybody comes from behind us without us knowing. Damn, I was really hoping. They know we're back here now. There's only two. That did actually hit the Gibby shield, surprisingly. See, this is a safe to poke at. Oh, 
I love Maggie. She's so annoying to enemy teams. Please. Perfect. Grenade right there would be perfect. I don't know how that team over there to the left didn't take any fucking damage through this. Want more grenades? Grenades! I was silent. I was so silent for that. I didn't know how many people were left. I was so nervous. Holy hell. I didn't I had nothing to say. Oh my god. I didn't get really many re points to shine during that, but at the end there, that's definitely when it came out. Oh my god. Hey, top kills on my team. Nice. Not top damage, but top kill. And welcome to the end of the video. Yeah, a lot of crazy moments and a lot of silent moments for me. Mostly so that way I was able to listen to my team. That way I know what they wanted. And then I could go off of that. Because that's the other thing you got to keep in mind. Be amenable to your teammates. Even if they are making horrible, horrible calls. Do it as a team because maybe you, as a player, can rectify those horrible, horrible decisions. Not to say my team made any bad decisions, but let, play with your team. Unless it's so bad, it will get everybody killed, <laughs> as seen in my last video. But regardless, I hope you'd enjoy that nail-biting clincher at the very end there. And I hope you continue to enjoy more content. And if you enjoyed that one so much, I'd recommend clicking the subscribe button right there. By doing so, you get to continue watching some of my awesome content. With that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!